This is Waffle House Fight Night. I'm your host, Brent Carlson. Well, leading off tonight, senior Hamas official Osama Hamdan stormed off the set of a CNN interview with anchor Jim Scudo this past week. Reports are that Jake Tapper once again parked in Hamdan's permanent compact parking spot. They just can't, can't be happy with the spot they got. I don't get it. Well, Hamdan still has yet to comment about the incident, and Tapper was seen installing spike strips around his parking spot. CNN also reported that it is in the middle of talks with Hamden and Tapper and that they are working on a, quote, two-spot solution. Sounds familiar. Well, it's been several weeks now since the assassination attempt on President Trump, and the final medical conclusion has hit the newswires. Many doctors have testified that if Trump would have been one half inch to the right, he would have finished out his entire life talking like Joe Biden. Okay, well, we got to get that one in there. I mean, he sounds decent before the shot. After it was revealed that Secret Service agents were not allowed on the roof from where the shot came was due to the fact that it was deemed an unsafe surface due to the sloped nature of the roof. After this revelation came out, Director Kim Cheadle's resignation has been demanded by many Republicans. In her own defense, Cheadle chirped back that they felt balconies aren't ever really a very credible threat. I've seen things on TV. Well, high-ranking North Korean officials are rumored to be seeking medical support for the dictator Kim Jong-un, as his health has once again become in a weakened state. The 40-year-old dictator comes from a long line of Kims who have struggled with heart problems, most notably that their hearts stop when exposed to other high-ranking North Korean officials. It seems like they would have a cure for that by now, but, you know, they are communist regime. Well, it's also rumored that Kim Jong-un has already been grooming his preteen daughter, Kim Joo-a, to become his successor. So, if you think communism is bad now, just wait till Taylor Swift stops translating her songs into North Korean. I mean, that girl is everywhere. Everywhere. A new study finds that men over 50 are now becoming a much larger share of new fathers versus their younger counterparts. Even 70-year-old new fathers are becoming more popular, especially in trailer parks, because there is no child support when you're dead. I mean, it, it is hard to get blood out of a dead turnip, I guess. I don't know what the saying is. Well, a front page article from the Sunday Telegraph blazed the headline, Extreme Misogyny to be Treated as Terrorism. After the report, statisticians officially named Canada as the safest country in the world. Yeah, that one's pretty easy. Well, Khloe Kardashian is saying goodbye to her camel toe. She likes and wants to keep her micro puss, as she calls it, versus her larger puss she called Camille while her stepfather is still working on his real puss he calls Bruce. Strange name for that. Kind of not gender correct or something. I don't know. Well, Mark Zuckerberg showed up in a Bloomberg interview donning new curls, sweatpants, and a gold chain. You know, just in case anyone forgot what a 90s Russian Jewish billionaire hitman looked like. It's a long title. I had to get it out there, though. It's like four adjectives, five if you count 90s. Well, the Real Housewives franchise has announced a new installment entitled The Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. This will be the first season of the show where they will only have to use one house for filming. Such a stereotype. Just, I get tired of them. They're just, they're just so easy. Well, Ben Affleck was seen smiling after reuniting with J. Lo on the beach. Apparently, Affleck thought he was getting back together with J. Garner. Pretty divish. I don't know if that's a word. Divish? Diva? 
Well, a massive IT outage on Microsoft operating software caused widespread cancellations in Delta, American, and United Airlines flights several weeks ago. Remember, I haven't done this thing in like a month or two. But fortunately, Southwest and Spirit services were not delayed as they still operate on the Buddy system. Operating system, I don't know. Hey, they kept going. A 3,000-year-old structure, which was described in the early books of the Bible, has been uncovered in Jerusalem over the past week. Even more exciting than the find itself were the portraits of Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi's fourth-grade pictures hanging on the walls. I mean, you got to do an old joke every once in a while. Well, the remains of a female mummy in Egypt, with her mouth found wide open, has earned the moniker of the Screaming Mummy. Researchers are guessing that the woman died screaming in agony after listening their friend talk about their latest CrossFit workout. I mean, they are pretty annoying. Well, I think it's obvious. The French are nasty. A museum in Marseille, France, is celebrating its 10th anniversary of holding naked museum tours. The Ice Age exhibit is expected to yet again be another popular find. Okay, that one was easy, too. Well, co-creator Bernard Anjou said in an interview, I had to, you know, do the French, said in an interview that a new wave of nudity has arisen and goes hand in hand with the search for healthy diets. Two things. First, touche, and then second, touche. Well, due to a doctor shortage in British Columbia, Canada, some emergency rooms are now closing between the hours of 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. Hell, you know, it's like my mama always said, thank goodness nothing bad ever happens after midnight. And that's all tonight from the Waffle House Fight Night Show. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Thanks for joining us.